What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mike Marvelous. You know what I'm saying? We back at it again. You know, y'all ain't seen me in a minute, but if you are, if you if you can see the title of the video and you see who's on the screen, you already know it's about to be a good one. Now, what I've decided to do is make a series of videos with a few select NBA players on why they have the argument to be the greatest of all time. So, you know, I'm a Laker fan, so anybody who plays for the Lakers is going to go first. You know, I'm sure you can guess the players I'm going to use, but it's going to be it's going to be a handful of them. So each player is going to get, you know, you know, get their whole spill on why they, sh they could be called the greatest of all time. And they ain't, you know, ain't going to trip about it. So, you know, first things first, we're going to start off with the man, the myth, the legend, Kobe Bean Bryant, you know. Six foot six guard at our lower Marion High School. Get yeah, that man his credit. And one thing I learned about Kobe is that Kobe is the most disrespected star that I can think of. Like Kobe gets so much shade, it's crazy. Cause people try to say, oh, he's not better than Jordan. Or he's not better than LeBron. You know, but his skill is just as good, if not better, than Michael Jordan's. He didn't steal all the Jordan's moves, but if we want to get real technical, Jordan had to get his moves from somewhere. Jordan was a Dr. J fan and a David Thompson fan, and he learned a lot of things from his older brother. So we don't go and say Jordan stole their moves. You just learn and you adapt. That's what greats do. Greats imitate other greats. You talk about skill, Kobe's skill is second to nobody. One-on-one, -on -one, ain't nobody beating Kobe. I don't think there is a soul that will be Kobe. Jordan might, but even with Jordan, it's a might. Kobe one-on-one, -on -one, I'll take him 10 times out of 10 over LeBron, over T-Mac, over KD, Steph Curry, Kyrie, Jordan, Magic, Dr. J. I don't care who you throw at Kobe, Kobe going to win. And one thing that's very underrated about Kobe, his defense. Tenacious motherfucking defender. My man's got 12. Count them, 12 all defensive team selections. That's the most ever for a guard. And I think that's second most of all time next to um, Tim Duncan and, or is it Kevin Garnett? Yeah, it's Kevin Garnett. So he might be, you know, one of, if not the best perimeter defender of all time. Now the best might be a stretch, but he's definitely up there. And, you know, and when we want to compare Kobe to LeBron or Jordan, everybody says the same thing. Oh, Kobe had Shaq. Kobe had Shaq. Of course Kobe going to win the ring. He didn't win all his rings as the number one guy. Well, guess what? If Jordan and LeBron played with Shaq, if anybody played with Shaq in the early 2000s, they'd be a sidekick too. Shaq was just motherfucking dominant. Couldn't stop him. But one thing that people don't, that love to gloss over was how important Kobe was. And if you listen to Shaq and Kobe's interview, Shaq will tell people how important Kobe was. And if I, and if I, if there's a couple of examples I'll use, we'll go to the 2000 Western Conference Finals against Portland. Shaq wasn't having a dominant game. The Lakers almost let a 3-1 lead slip. But Kobe took over in the fourth quarter. And the Lakers end up winning the game. You know, then they go on to the Pacers. Jalen Rose, bitch ass, cheap shot at Kobe and knocked them out for a game. And guess what? When Kobe was held, they lost. When Kobe came back in game four, Shaq fouled out. And then Kobe took over, even with his gimpy ankle. So, you know what I'm saying? So, you gotta give Kobe his credit. Cause without Kobe, Shaq doesn't win those rings. You know what I'm saying? Kobe and Shaq, you know, yeah, you could call Kobe a sidekick, I guess. But, you know, he played a role that everybody would have played if they played with Shaq. Now, when we talk about dominance, we talk about greatness, 25 points a game, one of the greatest scores to ever play, 81 points in a game, 60-plus points in three quarters. My man's put up 60 points in a game five times and put up 60 in his last fucking game when he could barely fucking walk. Yeah, he took 50 shots, but that's probably the only game where he scored a crazy amount of points where he took, where he was very inefficient from the field. 
most of his other games, Kobe's usually efficient. Averaging 40 in a averaging 40 in a month. You know what I'm saying? He's led the league in scoring a couple times. And we're gonna talk about that bogus MVP. Now, I I believe Kobe should have got more than one MVP. Because, you know, it just don't sound right to have Shaq and Kobe each have one ring. But you got Nash with two. You got Steph Curry with two. You got Moses Malone with three. And I'm like, what? Come on, man. Like, no offense to those other guys, but it's like, bruh, like, those, they, those guys aren't better than Kobe. They ain't better than Shaq either. But, you know... But, you know, we got guys like Colin Cowherd and Nick Wright that they just point to numbers. But one thing I, I, I saw watching, you know, watching former players and players who played against both of them talk about Kobe and LeBron, people feared playing Kobe. People didn't fear playing LeBron. People thought Kobe was better than LeBron. A lot of former players thought Kobe was better than LeBron. Numbers aren't going to always tell the whole story. You know, we all know how good Kobe was from 2003 all the way until he popped his Achilles out of place. I'll, I'll go on record and say Kobe was the best player in the NBA overall through that time frame. From 2003 to, I think it was 2013, 2013 where he popped his Achilles. So that decade period, Kobe was the best player in the league to me. No matter what. Shoot, Kobe, Kobe was just Kobe was just a killer, man. On both ends of the court, tenacious defense, tenacious offense, clutch shot making, clutch free throw shooting. Held everybody accountable. One of the hardest working players you will ever see. You will not outwork Kobe Bryant. It is impossible. And that's no offense to other hard workers, but I don't think there's a person who could outwork Kobe Bryant. That's just the re that's just the reality. That Mamba mentality is real. You know, you talk, and you know, like guys just look at numbers and they see LeBron puts up these crazy numbers. And LeBron, he's gonna have his own video. You know, LeBron's gonna have his own video. Spoiler alert. But one on one, Kobe is that guy. Footwork, post work, mid range jumper, difficult shots. Duncan, passing. There wasn't a damn thing Kobe couldn't do. Yeah, people talk about all the shots he's missed. Well, guess what? Let, let me put it to you like this. Kobe is top five all time in points scored. Kobe came into the league as a, as a rookie who had to sit on the bench his first couple years. And then at the end of his career, dealt with a lot of devastating injuries that derailed the rest of his prime. So, if we got with a guy, a healthy Kobe for 20 motherfucking years, bro, he would have broke Kareem's record. Ain't no doubt about it. Kobe would have broke Kareem's record. And then we and then it would have just amplified his case to be the greatest of all time. When you bring up Jordan, you got to bring up Kobe. When you compare them to, you know, I'll give Kobe jump I'll give Kobe jump shots and I'll give Jordan athleticism in terms of what they definitely have over each other. Everything else is pretty much splitting hairs. Everything else is pretty much a wash, you know, but you know, I'm a huge, you know, I'm a fan of the Lakers. So I'm always gonna, you know, this whole series, I'm gonna put my Lakers, I'm gonna put my Lakers first, you know, 18 time all-star, 11 times of the all NBA first team, 15 time all NBA team together. You know, the most disrespected superstar that we have in this game. Kobe. People that know the game, people that played against Kobe and LeBron, they'll tell you. Most of them will tell you that Kobe was better than LeBron. Some people who have said Kobe is the most skilled player we have ever seen. You know, I think the, I think the second one is true. The first one, eh. It all depends on it all depends on what you need. Five time champ, five time champion as well, and he and he proved that he got the last two on his own in terms of him being the number one star. 
But I want to say something about Kobe that probably won't apply to every other superstar that I'm about to label on this list. Kobe is the one player who overcame everything and he basically had two careers. You know what I'm saying? Like Kobe won as a sidekick. He won as the main as the main guy. He won he scored using his athleticism to dunk over people and to use his quickness. And then as he got older, he transformed into more of a jump shooter, mid-range post work type of guy. Despite all the rape allegations, despite despite all the crazy injuries, despite the trade rumors, the front office not really messing with him, the coach having issues with him, you know, teammates having issues with him, despite everything, despite everything, he still became one of the five greatest players of all time. And in my opinion, if you don't have Kobe in your top five, I don't even want to hear who your top five is. So, you know, that's not me being a homer. That's not me being a fan. If Kobe had the same career with the Charlotte Hornets where he got drafted at, I would still feel the same way I do about Kobe. You know, but like, like, comment, and subscribe. You know, I hope y'all enjoy. Next video, it's either going to be LeBron. It's either going to be LeBron, Kareem, or Wilt. So, I'm not sure which one I'm going to do, but y'all look out for it. You know, this your boy, Maya Marvelous, and we out of here.